Hello there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World. We're in Medina, Malta. Now you may think Malta is just a country city all in one thing. No, Malta is a, a few islands put together and Medina is the old medieval capital. And what we have for you today is basically some of the differences between Malta and the US. So if you're a tourist thinking to come here, you have a better idea what you should expect. Now let's start with the language. Now first thing what's great is in Malta they speak English. They have two official languages, English and Maltese. Now the thing is, is there are some, I mean, the locals do speak Maltese, but there's so many expats that English is ever used everywhere and the Maltese do speak English. So you won't have any play problems with the language. Though sometimes maybe you have some problems with the accents, but you'll be fine with the language, okay? So you're good there. Second thing is money. So they use the Euro here. So you have the bills, the 500, 200, 100, 50, 20, 10, 5 Euro notes. And then they have coins that are 2 Euros and 1 Euro. Remember in Europe, the, the Euros are actually, the coins are actually worth something. It's not like the US where the coins aren't worth very much, you know? And then in the US, you know, you, you can't really use a $100 bill or a $50 bill pretty much. You have to use a 20, 10s, 5s, and 1s. Here you can use cash anywhere. Cash is preferred, uh, but you can use your cards your, and things like that. They actually don't even ask for your ID for the cards so much because this is a very safe place. So just know that. Now, if you're looking to exchange money, you'll find some exchange houses in, all, in the like the major towns around. But you, basically, what you want to do is use your ATM card to get your rate there. There's ATMs all over the cities and the towns around here. If you get outside of the towns, it's a little bit more difficult to find something. So exchange your money and get your money when you're in Valletta or Medina here. These kind of things. Or Rabat, which is the bigger city right here. Okay. Now, if you're looking, to, if you're going to go out to eat, what you should know is restaurants here. Lunchtime is between 12 and 1, 12 and 2. Dinner time usually starts about 7:30. So if you're going at other times, you're probably going to have a, a lot easier time finding a place to eat. Also, like places here in Medina and some in Valletta, the capital, they don't open up until dinner time, until 7 o'clock. So that might be something to think about when you are get, booking your rooms and you're looking for places to eat and stuff like that. Now, when you're looking at the tipping, when you go to the restaurants here, if the, if the service is bad, you, you don't give them a tip. But if it's okay service, you give them like a 5% tip, it's no problem, or you can always give them more. And what I would say about the service here in Malta, the people are super nice. The service isn't so great, but the, the, but the people are really nice. So you're like, oh, the service wasn't great, but my service was such a nice person. So that, that's one of the things there you might want to know about. Um, when you're looking at shopping times, uh, the stores usually close like between six and eight o'clock at night. So you can't do too much late night shopping and things. So just be prepared for that. So get your shopping done earlier in the day and then go enjoy some of the beach bars at night or some of the restaurants and stuff like that. Cause you can eat very well here. Rabbit is a very popular dish here. They have pastizza, these little kind of like puff pastry things that it's either filled with pea, like pea mush or ricotta cheese. Those are the two famous ones. Or you can have a fatira, which is like, it's like a, it's a sandwich basically. And it's a special kind of bread they have. You have one with like tuna and, and goat cheese. That's the best one here. Oh, so good. So good. The food is fantastic. Of course, seafood, because we're on the sea here. It is great. Now, the next thing you should know is about the weather. Now here in Malta, the weather is great. That's why people come here, because you are an island south of uh, south of Sicily, south of Italy, but the wind can be very, very strong, okay? So just don't be surprised if some days you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to go outside because it's 30, 45 an hour, mile an hour winds. Yes, it can be pretty bad, okay? So just be prepared for that. Um, also, the sun here is very strong. So if you're coming from Northern Europe and you think, oh, it's sunny, I'll be fine. No, make sure you bring your sunblock and stuff like that because those things are a little bit pricier here. Now, in general, if we look at the prices, Malta is cheap. Whether you're going out to eat, drink, party, I'm not going. It's not affordable. It's cheap here compared to Western Europe. So you definitely want to take advantage of that with the great restaurants and the eating and the drinking and stuff. It is very fair, like not even fairly, but it's very cheap. I mean, flat out. If you're from, if you're from one of the wealthier parts of Europe, I mean, it's it's a really nice place to come for your wallet. Now the next thing we we'll look at is water. You can drink the water here, though the locals will say don't drink it. But the locals are pretty nice, so you should be fine. <laughs> Now, if you're looking at the plugs, you know, because you're going to bring your, your phones and your, your cameras and stuff like that, the plugs here are like in the UK. It's like the two things, flat things like this, and then one here. Um, so you, adapters are sold everywhere, so if you need to get, get one, you'll be okay. And if you're bringing your laptop and phone, it already has the converter in it. You just need to change the adapter to go in. Okay, so overall, I recommend coming to Malta. It's a good vacation spot. I mean, a week here is fine. You want to go see some really cool stuff. Like you go to Valletta, which is the new capital because it was built in the 1500s. You have Medina here, which is the old capital. You can go to the Gozo Islands. You can go see the Blue Grotto and Camino Island. There's some Neolithic structures, megalithic, you know, the huge, really old stone structures like Stonehenge, but they're older than Stonehenge. They actually have the oldest freestanding structure 
in the world here in Malta. So it is a pretty cool thing to check out. So if you want to learn more, five things you're going to love and hate about Malta, top 10 things to do here in Malta, please check us out at our, Wal at our Walters World website. Um, if you have any questions or anything, please leave a comment below or you can tweet at us at Twitter at Walters World. Or at Walters World okay? So we'll see you later. Bye from Malta. And